Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell, and in this video we're covering Chapter 2, Exercise 9A. Make sure that you correct the few changes that I've made, like numbers and names. If you have the book, it's pretty easy. Um, this problem only really requires you to submit the hierarchy chart, so I've got a guide here for that. Um, what we're asked for this one is to find the slugging percentage of a baseball player or multiple baseball players. And uh, the book outlines the equation for that. What they say it is is bases earned divided by at-bats. That's the equation they want you to use. So that's how we're going to find that variable. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the hierarchy chart real fast. We've got main program. We're going to start off with the housekeeping get jersey number and we're gonna to go to the detail loop next and we've got a while loop here so as long as the sentinel value is not entered we're gonna go and do everything that's inside of this loop so we're gonna check for that value if it doesn't happen to be entered we're then gonna get the bases earned then we're gonna get the number at bats then we're gonna calculate the slugging um, percentage we're going to display the outputs. So when we go to display the outputs, we're going to basically display the jersey number, the bases are number of at-bats, and then the slugging percentage. And then we're going to use this module again. So we're using it up here, and we're going to use it again. Get jersey number. So it's used twice in this program. And we're going to check to make sure that you didn't enter a negative one there. If you didn't, it goes again. We run it again because we've got a new player. But if you do, we're going to go into the end of job and display a message. And I don't think you need to display a message, but I just put it anyway. So let's go ahead and look at the code real fast. Um, I've got the start up here and then uh, variables. I've got jersey number, slug percentage, bases earned, and at bats. All initialized to zero. And those are pretty much the only variables we're going to need for this. And so the first time the user is going to interact with this program is going to be right here in the inputs. And they're going to be asked for the jersey number. And as long as they don't enter a negative 1 when we get to the calculations here, the while loop, so jersey number is not equal to negative 1, we're going to go into the loop and ask for the bases earned. Then we're going to ask for the at-bats. And we're going to use that calculation that is outlined in the book. So slug percentage equals bases earned divided by at bats. And that's going to give us our slug percentage. Next, we're going to output most of, or everything, I think, that we just entered. And we're going to output the slugging percentage. Now with this, I've set the decimal places to 3. And of course, they're decimal places because I have fixed here. So set precision to three, and and I'm, I believe that's the way most, or it's supposed to be displayed like that. You'll see a slugging percentage as point and then three decimal places, and then after we output that, we're going to ask for the jersey number again. So see, we're using that module twice, and we're going to check to see that it's not a negative one, but if it is, we've got our output here. Good game. So let's go ahead and run this program real fast and check it out. I've got some values here that I'm going to use. I think these are kind of accurate when you look at stats. I, I did a little bit of research on um, stats, and this might be kind of accurate. Uh, we'll see. 27, number of bases earned, 130. And the number of at bats is 429. And so, see, it outputs everything we entered 27, 130, 429, and it shows us our slug a slugging percentage is 0 0.303. That might not be great. I'm not really sure uh, what a, a good percentage would be, but we seem to be getting an accurate, um, something accurate with our program here. And then we're asked for the jersey number again because remember we're in a loop here so we can we can do this again and have a new 
a new player, enter the bases earned, um, let's say 180. And then we'll do 413 maybe. And so we have this as our slugging percentage now. And I think that's actually kind of good. That might be that might be average or or above average. And now let's uh, enter a negative one to exit the program. So good game is our output, and we're good to go. So I think that's pretty much it with this problem. Um, let me just make sure real fast. Yep, we're good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.